Uh, I can see him laughing. Uh, it was it was a little bit different. It was uh, it was definitely dirtier. Warm memories of Andres Cermeño fill this youth room in Brownsville. It's where Cermeño, known as Andy to friends, served the church before he served the country. I mean, with his smile and his laugh and his character, he was very loving and people just wanted to be, be, be with him. Here, Andy and friend Danny Lucio spent hours watching movies, playing games and talking about God. It was very easy for him to talk about his faith and to be open. As a 16, 17, 18 year old, it's not very easy. Uh, to talk about those things, to talk about God in your life. Andy's own brother is a priest at the church. I'm really concerned about Father Joaquin, really, that because uh, they're, they're, they are very close. It's a very close family. Betty Bonnet is director for religious education. She remembers Andy growing up with her own sons. I couldn't bear it. I would not be able to bear that, to lose a son. <laughs> I'm sorry. She cries when thinking of Andy's mom. Andy leaves behind a wife and two children. They live in San Antonio, but Andy's mom and dad live in Brownsville. Lucia wants them to know the church is there for them. We're praying for you and we're, we're here for you. He wants Andy to know the church won't forget his work. Andy, we love you, we miss you, we're gonna miss you. Uh, but thank you for teaching us all the great things that you, that you did for us.